Intro, take one. You might be wondering why is this all weird setup from and what's exactly the whole purpose of this video. I'm going to be showing you the behind the scenes of a YouTube video. So what you just saw is me adjusting my microphone. I'm going to start recording right now and you're going to be witnessing what exactly happens behind the scenes. So let's get into it. first my camera is on I'm going to shoot on the, on S log all right there we go all right so just as a quick this is for the photography guys this is going to be later here but now um, the reason why I clap is so I can synchronize my microphone later with this camera right here and well of course with you guys so that's the whole reason why I clap and I try to hide my microphone behind my fruit bowl so, now it's time to start my intro. Hey guys. Blooper number one. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new video. Today we're going to be making something terrific for this gorgeous weather and that is going to be Aubergine Carpaccio. So, let's get into it. Alright, so now that the intro is out of the way, I need to find my props to shoot the intro. I usually like to use this stone right here because in post-production it gives me a very beautiful teal color that I can easily match with goldens and stuff like that. Now my ingredients. Cool. Alright, so that was a little bit of a time lapse. So now that I've got all my ingredients together, I'm going to bring it right here with me so I show you how I like to arrange this. Alright, so now that everything is ready to go, it's time to start playing with the composition and just the, the whole presentation because at the end of the day, like you know, these are the ingredients, like this is the part of the intro to the video. So this is a hook that is going to keep our viewer interested on the rest of the video. So for this, I'm just going to come to this side. So as you can see, like I've got like some gorgeous, very fresh greens. I want to make those part of the composition. I'm pretty happy with the way it looks. So if I bring you guys, I'm also recording right here on this camera. The reason why I love to use this, this bad boy right here is because in post-production, I can bring this boring gray into a gorgeous teal. So I would just shoot something like this. And now it's time to start shooting our B-roll. Like I mentioned earlier, I'm going to try to focus on each one of those ingredients. So I like to use manual focus just to have everything under control. All right. So that would be pretty much just shooting the the part, this is part of the intro, like I said at the beginning. Uh, so as you can see, like I focus on each one of them, and then like in post production, I'm going to make sure like every camera movement is going to be up speed at least like I would say like 400% or something like that to create like a little bit of a transition. And now that I've got this, since this particular recipe calls for I need to char my my aubergines, I need to go outside and do a couple of shots on my grill. So it's going to be like light situation is not that great. So all I have to do is I'm going to change my lens because I'm recording with my I'm recording with my 4K camera. So I'm going to be using this um, uh, this adapter. Change lens and chocolate break. Alright you guys, so this recipe is going to be really, really simple. All we have to do is take our gorgeous aubergines and we need to char them. And you will see the magic that we're going to get after. You're not going to believe that, but I was recording and unfortunately my camera fell because this, this is unfortunately 
very very slippery right so it fell and the lens broke you can see that the moment literally right now lucky for me i i fixed it i don't know how but i fixed it so yeah the show has to carry on so all i have to do right now is just like finish like this i'm at this stage right now so it's like pretty much close to be done uh it's been like an hour and a half ever since i started recording and now all i have to do is like plate this real quick once i plate i record the outro and that is pretty much going to be it that's going to wrap the video and yeah i really hope you enjoyed this this is a little bit of an unorthodox video for me i really hope you enjoy it and yeah if you've got any questions let me know in the poem in the comment section down below and yeah i'll see you in the next video bye and by the way i'm going to be linking this video on the info button right there, so just go ahead and click it. Go ahead, 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 click it. Click it, it's going to be somewhere around there.